What is up everyone, today I'm going to be showing you one of the most overpowered builds in free for all mode, maybe even the most overpowered right here, the Nomad with Ember Guns. This build absolutely dominates in free for all, and I'm going to show you guys exactly why today. This is a video that you cannot miss, so let's get right into the first battle. Alright guys, we are in a match now, we're playing uh, with bots and then one, one other player here. This is my favorite free for all map, it's symmetrical. Uh, so it makes it a bit more fair than some of the other ones. But the reason that Nomad is so powerful in this mode in particular is because of the fact that you're able to heal your HP back after getting a kill, making your mech, uh, being able, your mech is able to survive the whole match, basically just infinite survivability. And with the Nomad who has damage resistance, dashing, uh, and these close quarters weapons which never run out of ammo, I mean they do, but the reload is so short, it's basically like you can always fire. That's one of the biggest strengths of the of the um, ember guns so as you can see i'm just going to be dashing around just using my resistance so nobody can even touch me i'm just healing back up and things that would normally kill me just don't because of the resistance let's try to beat this aegis yep we did we took some damage but it's okay because we can now attack him and just heal our hp back he's trying to push me out i do not want to get pushed uh into fire like this all right let's wait for him to come in here and boom one tap him Keeping my resistance active, we're cooling down our ability, and as you can see, we're in the lead, even above the enemy player, we're at unstoppable in about a minute right now, which is a pretty good pace, but it's not even close to what I've had before. I've gotten up to like uh, 20 kills with this thing, I mean, it's actually crazy. I'm sure you guys have all seen top end meta players running the same build, just with Max, Nomad, and uh, the Ember Gun 12, right, dual Ember Gun 12. It's an absolutely monstrous build, and in, in this mode, it's just... It's just broken, honestly, guys. This thing, I, I can't imagine what it'd be like for players to have to fight against this with some weaker mechs or weapons. Uh, right now, my, my the player I'm playing against seems to be having a fine job. He's also farming bots just like I am. That's what you do in FFA anyways, but I can't imagine players trying to fight this thing. When I activate the resistance, I get 60% damage resistance. And imagine that with 120,000 health I have. 126 there, you can see I'm at full health right now with 60% damage resistance, it's like over 200,000 health, leaving near 250,000, which is absolutely crazy, we're at 15 kills, uh, after about 2 minutes here, uh, let's see, can we get this player, we're hitting him, and yes, we defeated a surge, a player surge, he had shotguns, we took him out easily, uh, okay, let's try to get this Zephyr, we didn't get it, but that's okay, because again, I'm just kind of, I, do, I just don't die, that's what this mech's specialty is, with it, with this healing, you just don't die. Does this guy have discs? I do not want to get hit by those. Those would be pretty nasty. I need my damage resistance to be active when I attack him. Oh, do we win? Oh no, he, okay, he did get us, but as you guys can see, we got 17 kills. He has max disc launcher 8s for some reason. Uh, and there we go, our Nomad is, of course, the top MVP with 17 kills. Let's check out this player's hangar to see how powerful he was. As you guys can see, he was tanking right here with a two-star Lancer and a maxed out kill shot, hoping to take the first spot for himself. But, of course, as you guys saw, our Nomad took that spot. I mean, this thing is absolutely insane. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching to the end. Comment your thoughts about this build, about Nomad, uh, what you think about it. A lot of think people think it's OP right now, which it definitely is. It's super meta. Uh, yeah, just comment what you think about it, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one.